FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Now choose to perish or to learn. Pam Geller, Pamela Geller, Atlas Shrugs, how are you? Boy, I can't believe this information about the FBI and Garland. This is beyond unbelievable. It's stunning. Uh, I mean, let, let's just backpedal a bit. We did know that, uh, I mean, it came out right after in the wake of the jihad shooting in Garland, Texas, on our free speech event, that the FBI knew about it uh, shortly before. That we knew. What came out the day before yesterday was this ISIS recruiter who was arrested in North Carolina was also a ringleader in the Garland, Texas shooting. Now, I, it, I find it unnerving that he was still out and about and at large for 15 months. Uh, but really the bombshell coming out of this arrest is if you read through the transcripts, he was in touch with the undercover agent during and prior to the Garland shooting. The FBI undercover agent was in on the planning. The undercover FBI agent was at our event inside, communicating with the jihadists, communicating with the ringleader. The ringleader was asking the um, undercover agent how many police were there. Do you see the feds there? Do you see snipers there? I mean, now, the responses by the undercover FBI agent were not in the court doc, but this is the level of knowledge, prior knowledge, and involvement the FBI had. And as you know, I, what became sort of famous was the remark by the FBI agent, tear up Texas, uh, because now, of course, they're going to say that the FBI agent incited them to jihad, uh, which, by the way, I think is absolutely absurd, as if anyone can make any one of us, you know, slaughter on a mass scale or kill anyone. Uh, that's, not the, the, that's not the lead here. The lead here is that the FBI was there, had, you know, vast prior knowledge, and they didn't have a team there. So they what didn't you- have anyone there in place once the shooting started. Right. So what could possibly have been the motivation attached to this in terms of not being there or in terms of, at that point, this guy egging somebody on? What indeed? I mean, uh, listen, we know every single jihad attack that was not thwarted previously did not end well in this country. Fort Hood, Chattanooga, San Bernardino... Orlando. I mean, really? Garland was the only attack that ended victoriously, where the good guys won. But it was no thanks to our law enforcement. I mean, this is why I have security at all of our events, because we know what we de- we're dealing with. And the Garland police, you know, were just amazing. They were spectacular. And, you know, they deserved, frankly, a parade down Fifth Avenue. But in this sort of perverted, morally bankrupt world that we're living in, uh, we're getting that the FBI was responsible for egging them on. My issue is not so much with that. My issue is, why? what was your response? Right. Well, you know what I mean? The FBI didn't know. They never contacted me. They didn't know how much security I had there. And according to law enforcement, the FBI hadn't contacted them either. Yeah, again, though, why? I mean, I don't understand why that would be. Why Why would you, was it, why would you be in bed with this organization or what they were doing? Because you're, you're not a threat to law enforcement. You're not a threat to the FBI or indeed to this country. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, this is, I, I, do I put this past the Obama administration, an administration who has scrubbed the law enforcement materials and counter-terror programs of all references to jihad and Islam? Would I put this past the administration that not a week after the Benghazi jihad attacks, President Obama is standing in front of the world at the U.N. and says the world does not, be- the future, the future does not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam? But I put this behind, uh, beyond an administration whose Secretary of State Hillary Clinton had met privately uh, behind closed doors in Washington, D.C., with the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to impose Resolution 1618, which is the blasphemy laws under the Sharia. I mean, did they want us dead? 
in order to, you know, have a bone-chilling effect on freedom of speech in this country? Yeah. Seriously, what could their motive have possibly been? Well, then maybe it's coming all together, because then we have news today of someone being able to nail down the fact that the Florida DNC invited the Orlando terrorist attacker's dad to the Hillary Clinton rally. He's standing right behind her. Yeah, that's an amazing story. Uh, and cheering, you know, and, 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 and cheering. Listen, this, we are living in a morally inverted world where the, the, the good is demonized and evil is exalted. I mean, excuse me, I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but the idea that, you know, elites were urging Michael Phelps, for example, to give, to be, to give up the flag-bearing honor right. to, 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 to a Muslim athlete who literally has accomplished nothing, who lost, you know, almost immediately, who I have posted uh, vicious anti-Semitic, uh, anti-American tweets that she had posted uh, over the past year. I, I mean, and uh, versus, uh, you know, an iconic athlete who is one of the world's greatest athletes of all time. But why should she be the flag bearer of the Olympics? Because she's Muslim. Simply because she's Muslim. But, mind you, if there's any jihad attacks where devout Muslims are screaming Allahu Akbar, mowing down human beings, you can't mention Muslim. Wow. I... You, are, you are not allowed. But, but we have to praise them and exalt them when they're not killing people. Why? Because it's so extraordinary that they're not killing people? I mean, it's like uh, the low expectation of soft bigotry, right. you know? Right. You, you know what I'm saying? But the, this is devastating. I mean, the cheers for Hillary at the rally. This is the same father who said, uh, said God will punish gays. This is who's standing behind Hillary at the DNC convention. But well, you'll never get this from the media. Because the media is, is, is just a propaganda arm. It's, it's Goebbels-esque. It's the same Der Sturmer template as the Nazi party. It, it just is. I'm not saying that they are uh, killing Jews. I'm saying that it is the same template where the press is completely in the bed for a particular political party. And what they do, what their objective is, to advance, promote, and make sure the agenda of this party gets accomplished. That's what we're witnessing here. I mean, the daily hammering of Trump, the daily hammering of Trump, the daily... I mean, look at the, the two parents. Here you have two parents of Benghazi uh, murder victims at the hands of uh, Hillary Clinton's um, inaction and deliberate malfeasance in Benghazi. They're suing Hillary. You don't hear... You hear nothing. Yeah, right. So You hear, uh, you hear nothing. But uh, uh, Kazir Khan... Sharia Khan is, again, iconic, exalted, uh, well, because he attacked Trump. That's, that's why. I mean, Trump didn't kill his son. Right. Hillary killed their son. Let, let's be per perfectly clear here. Hillary killed the, 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 the Benghazi victims. She could have sent people in. There were, there, 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 were, uh, there were men at the ready itching. They were itching, uh, our soldiers, itching to go into Benghazi. Did nothing. Uh, Trump? Trump is fighting the very ideology that killed Khan's son. Is that not so? No doubt about it. So back to Garland, though, Pam. So Pamela, what happens then with this investigation? Is there someone who is going to get to the bottom of why this message was sent to the attackers? Well, I will tell you that right now there is no investigation, uh, but I, I will be submitting a FOA and uh, your request for an internal investigation at the FBI. There are apparently good guys at the FBI that look into things like this, and we, we have to, I mean, this is, this is just completely, uh, this is treasonous. Uh, this, is, this is literally the sanction of attacks against Americans, aiding and abetting even. I mean, yeah. at, that, at that level, Jamie. It, and every American should be frightened. This should scare every American, because it's really not about Pamela Geller. It, it, it's about, you know, Americanism, and it's an attack on Americanism, mm -hmm. and it's an attack on freedom. And who do you stand with? Do you stand with the traitors? Do you stand with, you know, or do you stand with the patriots? Where do you stand? I mean, it should be elemental where our government stands. Even with, you know, whatever your issue is with Trump, he's a patriot. He loves his country. 
That should be your bar. That's your bar. That's all you really need. If he's coming from a good place, if he loves this country, it, it'll be great. It'll be great. And I'm, that's coming from me. And, you know, he's been very critical of me. Well, I'll tell you, it, given if, if, if it's true that there was some kind of weird inside the Fed cabal working against you and for these troublemakers, I worry about Trump's safety at this level. I mean, again, I'm not saying the You're FBI will do right. this. You're 100 percent right. It's not that if we read the transcripts, I, everyone who's listening, the PDF is online, the indictment is online. You can see the texts between the FBI agent and Simpson, one of the shooters. You can see the texts between the ringleader, Abu Darb, which means father of war in Islam. Abu Darb, uh, his, his American name was Eric Hendricks before his conversion, and the undercover FBI agent. It, this, is not, yeah. uh, this is not a dish. This is not rumor. This is not speculation. This is fact. And the fact was there were no G-men at that event. Wow. Amazing, Pamela. And I know it's on your website, and we appreciate that so much. And thanks for what you're doing. I, I'm, I, I, I'm also sorry because, I mean, this, this information, when you saw it, must have been terrifying to say the least. And so we're just glad in hindsight that you're okay but my I fell Lord. off my chair yeah oh I'm sure I'm sure because I had thought the FBI had prior short prior knowledge right you know right. I, had, I had always known that they'd known about it a little bit before it was always a little bit before right okay but this yeah all right well Pamela thanks so much for the info and we'll be keeping track uh, of your FOIA too so thank you so much for that thank you so much for having me Jamie take care bye-bye